Hello everyone, my name is Zed and I've got a really exciting new partnership for you today. We have Massive and we have Iconic. Now you can move your large multimedia files over the cloud faster than ever and get right into managing them in one click. Iconic is used to gather and organize media files in one central location. Creatives can store, tag, review, and collaborate on digital media files from anywhere. With this new integration, you can automatically send files that you receive through Massive directly to your Iconic account. This means that you don't have to manually download your files to your computer and then re-upload them to Iconic. Now it can all be done automatically using Massive. This is possible through the Massive Portals feature. We have a video on our channel that goes through everything you need to know in depth about Massive Portals and how to use them. But let's quickly go through what a Massive Portal is. A Massive Portal is a unique website that you can send to your collaborators. Those collaborators can then upload packages, files, folders, and any other media directly to you without the need of a Massive account. That means if you have your Massive Portal and Iconic integration set up, you can share your Massive Portal website and all the files uploaded there will go directly into your Iconic account with zero administration work. Massive and Iconic speeds up collaboration and allows you to focus on other tasks. Setting up the Massive and Iconic integration can be done in a few simple clicks. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is set up our Iconic integration. To do that, let's navigate to the Cloud Connect tab. Now that we're in the Cloud Connect tab, let's select Iconic. The first thing you will need to do is give your connection a name. This name will be used in the cloud connection list to help identify which connection is which. In this case, we will call our cloud connection Iconic Demo. Next, we will need the app ID and app token which can be found within your Iconic account. Next, press the verify button. This will load your account information. Next, we can select the account we would like to integrate with. In this case, we are going to select Iconic Files GCS. Finally, hit the Connect button. And just like that, the Iconic integration has been set up. Let's connect it with a massive portal. To do that, let's navigate to the Portals tab and select the Create New Portal in the top right. We are going to start by giving our portal a unique name. In this case, we're going to call our portal Iconic Demo. We will also need to give the portal a unique domain, and in this case, we'll call ours IconicDemo.Portal.Massive.App. After you're done with naming, we will press the Continue button. This next step will allow you to set up download and upload passwords, recipients, and unique messages. For more information on these fields, check out our Massive Portals video on our channel. Once you are done with this page, press the Continue button. This next step allows us to set up unique branding for our portal. In this case, I have some pre-selected stuff ready to go. Once you are done setting up your branding, let's hit the Continue button. Next we can select our Iconic integration. To do that, press Select Connections and select Iconic Demo. Once you've selected Iconic Demo, you can close out. Now that we are done, let's press the Create button and take a look at our freshly created portal. Next, we are going to drop some files into our portal. Once these files have finished uploading, they will automatically be sent directly to your Iconic account. To demonstrate the Iconic side of the integration, I will hand this demo off to our friends over at Iconic. Thanks for that, Zed. So here we are over in Iconic, and Iconic is a media management and collaboration solution, and it is a hybrid cloud approach so that we can take data and watch it either in the cloud or in on-premise solutions. And what we've got now is the ability to go and see all of the most recent items that have been added to our system. And we have a search interface with faceted filtering for all of the various different content that gets added to the system. Where the real power comes in in the massive connection is that I can go and see all of the different massive portals that have been created. 
and then all of the packages that have been delivered from those massive portals. And if we browse through here, we can see that this is actually the package that uh, Zed sent me just a little bit ago. And here are all of the various different clips that have been sent in. Now, this is a great use case for bringing in contract folks to deliver content to your iconic domain. This will deliver it directly into your cloud storages and place it where you want. So if I go and take a look at this actual content inside of Iconic, I now have a low res proxy that I can view within the system and I can see where that is actually stored and I can see it's in my uh, Google Cloud storage that I have connected to Iconic in this case. And I can also use this to start making some editorial decisions and support uh, my editors downstream. So if I wanna mark an in point here and maybe mark an out point here and say, maybe we should re-record and use Iconic's colors, maybe. Uh, and I can also draw on frame here and uh, make annotations if I want. So selecting various parts of the frame and drawing annotations that way. By creating these time code based markers, I can now share this content with anybody else anywhere in the world and start to get some feedback on them. Uh, I can also share this content with people by simply going up to my iconic menu and saying, I would like to share it. And I can share it with any user that is currently in uh, my iconic domain or anyone uh, anywhere else in the world. And with that, I can send a message. Here is that clip we spoke about. And I can choose if metadata should be included in that package and how long that package is good for. And I can also choose if I can let those remote folks download either the high res or the proxy or just maybe make comments, see previous versions and even uh, put in a uh, password on it. And if I hit send, that's going to send an email to all of the people on that. They're gonna get review links now and they're gonna be able to actually view this without having to necessarily download the original media files. So a lot of different ways that Iconic can be used to collaborate. Now let's hop back up here as well. We can go back to our screen recordings and do a couple other fun things. I can go to these items and I can actually edit metadata on them. And at this point I can say, hey, I'm going to tag them with some metadata. Iconic and partnership. And uh, I'm gonna say that the release date is today. And hit update and away we go. I've now updated that metadata, which means that I've now built searchability around all this. So if I'm back in here maybe a week later and I just wanna find all that stuff, I can say, show me all the massive and iconic content in the system. And now all of those clips come up and I can quickly use them. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use iconic to collaborate quickly, make things work very smoothly with uh, external stakeholders that need to deliver you content or share that content externally. Uh, and we also have the ability to search for all of that and store it for long term. And admittedly, we can move it around as well. So I can take and transfer this to any other storage that I may have connected to Iconic over time. So if we want to bring things in for production and then eventually move them off to an archive like a Glacier or a Backblaze or something similar to that, that's all possible as well. So all of this can be done within Iconic very quickly and easily after you've got content into it. So if you guys would like to try more uh, Iconic, you're welcome to hit up the links that are at the bottom of the description or contact us directly from our website. We'd love to have you try out the system. Thanks guys.